G'day everyone, it's Chris O. <clears throat> I'm a professional tiler, I have been for 35 years. This is what I'm doing at the moment. Turn the camera around. So, what I've done now is got my aluminium, because that floor, see that? It's way out of level, the floor. I'm getting my aluminium level right and then i'm putting in my mud uh, this is the tile i'm using so i set it for that height just pop this on my head hang on a sec so i get my doorway right so my tile is sitting like that and oh well my glue's going to be at the right height then i run two rails i run a rail down there that there is my glue which acts as a slurry both sides so i level across there and i level down there so i've got two rails and then you just pull it back and lay at the same time Once you get your doorway bang on, well, your home and hose. I don't know yet whether it's square with my walls, this aluminium, but I will soon. You don't need to be in a full on rush. Slow down, concentrate on what you're doing, DIYs. I'll find a uh, small piece of tile. I've got a small piece out here somewhere. <clears throat> And I set my height up. Just like that. Bring it up a little bit higher. Scrape the glue off. I um, mean, scrape the mud off as you drag your tile through. That's good. Okay, I'll sign off. I'll get back to you in a minute. See ya, bye. Now, I'll, all my doorway and everything is leveled up. See that bubble? That t that's the tile I'm using. It's just slightly below the aluminium at the moment. When I have glue, glue on it, it'll be bang on. So what I now need to do is run my two rails on that glue down each side. And then all, it, all I do is drag it back. I'll be coming back to about here, then I can reach over and start laying my tiles and work out the door. This uh, 
this laundry floor is so out of level it's incredible but the bathroom was the same but we will fix it I never go banging my bucket on the floor to get the mud out of the bucket because you can accidentally cut your waterproof and that's a no-no you can have a bit of tile there or whatever you can do it that way So all I'm doing now, you always get it right at that end. See the technique, see the technique that gets used yet. All the time you're watching that you're not digging in. Right, that's, you see that bubble? This is a shit level, eh? That's why I've, uh, that's why I've cut it. To the length of my laundry, because, um, I, I've never liked it as a level. I mucked up a little bit when I bought it. Always watching your bubble. That's cool. Wooden float. Or plastic float, I guess. Yeah, it's not wood. Fiberglass. So that's it, that's my rail done. I'll be doing the same down this side. I mix some more mud. I need to mix some more mud, so I'll go through it again with you. Plug my lead in. Right, 70 mil of water. That's about 70. In a 20 litre bucket. Throw in half your sand. Mix her up, Charlie. Sometimes if you're a little bit stiff, your mud, your bucket will spin, so just hold it with your feet. There's heaps of other ways uh, to mix mud as well, you know, in your barrow or, or whatever, but I, I find this so convenient. If you're standing there for ages and mixing it up and it's getting wetter and wetter, well, you don't need to.
I don't need to put a cap on that, it's high enough. I'm not gonna get mud down there. Right, you look at that end, that's what I'm going off. You get it nice, you're touching with your level, then you look at your bubble. Right, I've actually scraped off a little bit much there, so I need to build it up. Okay, bang on. Just pretty it up a little. Oh, I've never liked this level much. So it's more of a straight edge now. I chose wrong. It's even um, like it's hard to clean. It's not not the right level for um, uh, putting mud to it. You know, it's uh, it's got too many. It's not flat. It's got too many ins and outs that mud can get stuck to and it's hard to clean and it ends up shitty and dirty. So that's lovely. Now you're gonna we're gonna have a beautiful level tiled laundry floor. Oh I'll cut um I'll cut my tiles ready. I need to measure off with my tape and see if I start uh, a full tile from that wall. I'd like to start a full tile from the doorway. I'll see what it brings me to that doorway. Hopefully I've got a big enough, bigger tile. And if I work across there, hopefully I've got a nice big cut but there's a washing machine dryer and all that sort of thing. So it doesn't really matter what size the cut is, but we'll see, I'll get a take. Okay, I'll catch up with you soon. See you later, bye.